Okay, this is a video that's being redone because I guess I mentioned the name of a drug on YouTube and they deleted it because I don't know, maybe I mentioned the name of the drug and I'm not supposed to. So I'm not gonna mention any drug names, but what I had said a couple of weeks ago was watch and see if in the future they don't start using diabetic medications to fight cancer because diabetic medications reduce the, the glucose in your blood. It's pretty simple. Okay, so I was right. Now they're saying that this particular drugs block 10 out of 13 type cancers. You know, I was right. And they're trying to make a drug do a simple thing. The keto diet does the same thing that these drugs do. You don't put glucose in, you have lower glucose. You can, you can do the keto diet to fight diabetes. They don't want to say that because it doesn't help their bottom line. Okay, so what I said was, look at look for the research done by Dr. Thomas Seafried. I'm going to mention him constantly until you're sick of it. T H O M A S Thomas Seafried. S E Y F R I E D. Look him up on, on YouTube. Watch his videos. He's done, published tons of papers on the metabolic disease that cancer is. Cancer is a is a mutated cell that starts fermenting because it can't absorb energy like a normal cell. So it starts taking in sugar in order to ferment. That's what grows cancer. Cancer is not um, something that knows when it's supposed to die. It's not programmed like regular cells. Apoptosis is cell death. All cells eventually grow, die, and are replaced. Not cancer. It keeps growing and growing and it doesn't know how to die, it just keeps growing. That's why when you get a tumor, it's growing, growing, growing. Well, well eliminating, uh, doing a keto diet, eliminating glucose will slow the growth or stop it. I'm not saying it'll kill cancer. There's other things like these diabetic medications are telling us to take to prevent cancer. You'll, you can look them up. Whatever they are, I'm not gonna mention the names, but they're very popular now because they make you lose weight. Then the, the, what I, the comment I made was that the newscaster said that fat causes inflammation, excess body fat. Obesity causes inflammation. That's not true. What causes inflammation is glucose and glucosamine. Carbohydrates cause inflammation. And they know that, it's published studies, okay? So carbohydrates cause inflammation. So if you got inflammation problems, you also might want to think of a keto diet. So anyways, I'm not going to pray, preach to you about keto diets. You all have seen me, have seen that I lost 100 pounds. It's going on two years, but I lost most of the weight the first year to 18 months. I haven't lost any weight in a while because I really don't want to. So anyways, be healthy. Please listen, research it yourself so you can believe. You don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe what you see with your own eyes research it look up keto diet fighting cancer and you'll see you'll see that there's a lot of people out there all right good luck